Rev up your engines! NCR Emergency Roadside Service. Scotty, you're the only YouTuber with a large following that doesn't have sponsors. Good on you. Thanks for your brutal honesty. The world needs it. I like helping people out. I'm like everyone else. I hate being screwed over. Go back 40 years ago. When I buy something and I got screwed over, I could complain to a few people and that's it. And that makes me mad like, ooh, these evil people made this junk. And how can I get even? Well, now I can get really even. I can talk about the junk that people make and how not to buy it every day in my email. I get scores of people that say, gee, Scotty, what do you charge? Uh, we want you, we want to sponsor your videos for our product, blah, blah, blah. And I got a form letter that I typed out that I just cut and paste that says, hey, I don't do sponsorships. I just try stuff out. And I say, if you want to send me a case of your stuff, I'll try it out. I'll be honest about it. A lot of people send me something, right? And then in two weeks, they say, oh, are you making a video on it yet? Are you making a video on it yet? And I have to say, I test these things out. LED headlight bulb that goes in the car. Well, for that, Basically, I want to drive it around for at least a year to see if that thing lasts a year. What if I put it in and it looks great and then three weeks later this $80 bulb system breaks down and doesn't work anymore. I get to test all this stuff out. I love testing stuff out, especially new technology. I have a lot of fun with it and I get to honestly test the stuff out and tell people the truth because, hey, there are a lot of good products out there and there's a lot of crappy products. And the only way you can tell one from the other is trying them out over time. So if anybody's watching who sent me stuff, don't worry. I'm trying to stuff out. Just worry that if a year from now I don't talk about it, that means that it either didn't pass my test or somebody made a better mousetrap and that's what I'm talking about. I'm presently testing out a bunch of these jumper box. Can't wait to see what the 3000 one does. It's for a very short period of time. I got to see if that thing works and if it's got that kind of power, it's going to be able to jumpstart cars. That's no problem at all. But a lot of these people claim stuff that doesn't work. That's why I have to test the stuff out and that's why I don't do sponsorships. It's not right. If I played video games, I suppose I could do video game sponsorship. That would have no effect on me giving you car advice. But I don't play video games. I don't have the time to waste on that kind of stuff. I'm a busy man. I got serious things to do. I can't screw around playing video games, you know? <laughs> Omar Critchley says, is an 86 Ford Ranger a good buy? Five-speed manual for 1100 bucks. Okay, it's old as the hill. It's an 86, but those Ford Rangers were good pickup trucks. Could last a long time. Five-speed manual. So, you don't have to worry about the automatic transmission going out. I would say, drive it. Road test it. And if it road tests good and runs, doesn't smoke a lot out of the back, go right ahead. 1100 bucks isn't much these days. And if it still runs good... You can drive it and everything on that vehicle is still available. You can fix the engine if it goes out. You can do all kinds of things. Joe Saraday says, how do you feel about the 2019 Toyota Highlander reliability? Well, that's a question that in all honesty, I could not answer because it's 2019 now and you ask a question about reliability. Only time will tell that. Now, if you go by past experience, I got customers with Highlanders that have 600,000 miles on an original engine, original transmission, and they still run pretty close to new. So they were really well made. I'm assuming they're still making them that way, <laughs> but I can't say now because it's 2019. You have to be honest. Michael S. Howard says, Here's a tip, Scotty. Zippo bags are great for your electronics, a body bag for them. That is a very good idea. If you make sure you get good Zippo bags that seal right, you can put electronic stuff in them, make sure that it's dry inside. But if you are going to store any serious electronics in them, make sure you put one of those desiccant bags in. You know, when you buy electronics, they always come with those stupid desiccant bags. Well, there's a reason. That's to keep it dry inside. You're always throwing away get a Zippo bag, put all the desiccant bags in it, and seal it up. Then whenever you're putting electronics in other Zippo bags, put a couple of those desiccant bags in because you don't want anything to build up. If there's any little bitty holes where air gets in, it can get worse. A guy that had a safe and he put his money in bags in the safe and when he took it out years later, the mold, well, money was all molded up and some of them were almost unusable for a hundred dollar belt. So you want to use desiccant too if you're going to do that. Jay Heavey says, hey Scotty, you always give me something consider changing my lifestyle. Thanks. Well, I'm old. Hey, maybe I'm somewhat wise. So if I can pass any information out that helps people out, you think everyone in their own lives. Bad mistakes you made that you wish you never made them. Well, you can't get in a time machine, at least not yet, and go back and change them. You can use your mistakes to teach people not to make the same mistake. And believe me, I listen to people when they tell me about mistakes they made because I don't like making mistakes. And especially if they cost money, if we can share all the mistakes we made, perhaps 
we can end up with perfect people who don't make mistakes. <laughs> so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.